Well, we are looking ahead to a classic August week around here. Typically we get up to around 90 degrees for high temperatures and notice starting on Monday and on through the week. We're going to be close to 90 in the upstate and even warming up a little beyond that on some days and then it will drop back off as we get towards Sunday and Monday. But a very warm week is ahead, not quite like the week we had last week where we were a little bit cooler than normal. Fox Radar 3D is clear tonight and we had a good amount of a uh, clear sky today, not as many pop up showers and storms and that'll be the case tomorrow, but we will be watching an area of a uh, uh, storm activity that's now moving through western Kentucky. That's going to be getting a little bit closer to us as we head toward Monday evening. Might see some of that activity graze the mountains. I'll show you on Futurecast in just a second. And we're not desperate for rain, that's for sure. We are considered abnormally dry in parts of the Piedmont and Foothills, uh, portions of Rutherford County, Henderson County, even up into the mountains, uh, dealing with slightly dry conditions. Nothing to worry about. It might be good to get these areas some rain over the next couple weeks, and it looks like we'll have at least have those afternoon thunderstorm chances to try to help that situation out. It is 72 in Spartanburg, much warmer as you head toward Greenville at 83, 72 in Asheville, and 76 in Anderson. So tonight, right down to around 72, it's going to hang steady uh, in a lot of spots. It's a little bit more muggy outside, so we're not cooling down quite as much as we have. 66 in the mountains with mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow, 90 with that slight chance of rain in the mountains looking at the upper 80s. Uh, so it's going to be hotter than what we've experienced uh, at least all through last week. It'll be, it'll be a lot like today was. Here's a look at future cast. We'll start off with just some clouds in the morning. But the afternoon will bring some pop up showers. Most of those will be up in the mountains. But notice the upstate will still get in on a little bit of action. We'll have scattered activity into the five o'clock hour on Monday, and then a little bit of storm activity could dive down into the mountains as late as nine, 10 o'clock. It would all be from that energy diving in from the north and west, but it would dissipate before making it into the upstate. So that's why upstate spots will have a fairly low chance of any rain during the day tomorrow. And then into Tuesday, we'll up that rain chance a little bit more as we'll have scattered showers and a few thunderstorms getting going around 2 p.m. on Tuesday in the mountains, and then those will slide into the upstate potentially producing some heavy downpours uh, as we get into your Tuesday evening. So getting back into that rhythm of heat, humidity, afternoon storms, and then we'll just repeat that for several days. And we're continuing to watch the tropics. We talked about this earlier. We've got this one, uh, the two, actually two areas, but one that's of the greater concern of causing some issues in the Caribbean. The computer models in pretty good agreement about keeping it through the northern part of the Caribbean Sea, through uh, portions of Cuba potentially by late in the week, and then taking it close to the United States next weekend, possibly coming close to Florida. Good news is that this uh, system has been kept on the lower end, as in it's not expected to just blow up into a massive hurricane or anything like that. Uh, but there is a chance we could be dealing with a tropical storm or low end hurricane near the U.S. as we head toward next weekend. So we'll let you know for any interests along the Carolina coast. Locally, we're going to stay mostly dry going into Monday, just a slight chance of rain. And then we'll increase those rain chances as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday, really peaking on Wednesday and Thursday. Of course, you'll want to check in with the morning news from 430 to 9. Nicole and Kylie will get you all set up with your forecast as you get your day started.